This is the Edwin Smith Papyrus. Dates back to about 1500 BC. All right, it's not the original. That would be very valuable. Somewhere hidden in the uh, writing here is a recipe for transforming an old man into a youth. Obviously, of interest to me. The uh, problem is that we don't know exactly what that recipe was because it talks about rubbing the skin with the Hemayet fruit. But nobody seems to know what the Hemayet fruit is. A lot of people looking into that. But over the years, there have been all kinds of, of uh, uh, ideas about rejuvenation. When electricity came around, boy, that seemed to be the miracle. This is a rejuvenator that goes back to the 1800s. And what do you do with this? Well, you turn it on, and then you apply it to the skin. And that is supposed to have a rejuvenating effect. Well, I don't think it did much, but you know what? Old ideas never seem to die. They just become rejuvenated. How? Well, today with modern technology. We no longer look at equipment like this. We look at equipment like this. And there are programs that rejuvenate. What do you do with them? How do you use them? Pretty interesting. Instead of plugging into this device, believe it or not, you plug into a computer just happens to fit, and further update it, you use crystals, because everyone knows that crystals are magical. So you plug it in, and then you apply it to the skin. This uh, is supposed to rejuvenate you with algorithmic technology, whatever that may mean. That's the idea of uh, Kathy Forty, who in 2003 had an out-of-body experience where she met some multidimensional beings who told her to focus on quantum physics. She knew nothing about quantum physics or electronics, but somehow these beings told her how to write a program, how to come up with this device to rejuvenate people. Well, I don't think there's much to that either. But what about getting back to this papyrus and the rejuvenation idea? Scientists have been looking into this and have come up with a possible explanation for what the Hemayat fruit may have been. They think that it was bitter almond. Now, the bitter almond is not the same thing as a sweet almond that we eat, although, of course, it's a very close relative. The trouble with it is that it contains a significant amount of hydrogen cyanide. That, of course, is quite toxic. But if you process it properly, the cyanide evaporates, and then you have the bitter almond. Uh, it is used to make flavors, it is used to make scents. But there are some researchers who believe that this is the Hemayet fruit, and that if you rub your skin with it, it is going to have a rejuvenating effect. I don't think it seems to be working. 